Howdy y'all, this is Waffle here from Tomato Trigosity, and today we're going to be talking about Pelican to Pelican, P2P, one of the cruelest, hardest launches of Halo Reach history. Even though the launch is relatively simple and easy to set up, unlike the Fable Tower to Tower launch of Halo 1, it's so incredibly luck based in actually surviving the launch that it's painstakingly difficult. So anyway, so a little backstory. The launch was discovered around July of 2011 by myself of then Physics Remastered and Product Zero of Whole Extra Trick. Um, we were trying to find potential ways to fly the Falcon by exploring loads of manipulations outside the map at the beginning specifically. And we noticed that the Pelican that was supposed to drop off the bridge is actually loaded at the beginning with the bridge before you're even supposed to be there. And usually when you're playing through the mission, when you get to the AA gun area before you destroy the AA gun, the Pelican sits far outside the map stationary. Now, if you skip the trigger by getting outside the map in the beginning, then go all the way around to the Pelican, you can get to that Pelican there without it loading outside the map. Hitting the load for the Pelican to move outside the map, we notice that if you stand on top of the Pelican while this happens, it launches you extremely far and fast uncontrollably. We knew then that a Pelican to Pelican launch could be possible if we were able to get the right trajectory. Launching from the Pelican that was inside the map to its fixed position stationary outside the map. After finding a feasible setup for a semi-accurate trajectory using the Warthog on the left jet of the Pelican, this is where the history of Pelican to Pelican begins. And in 2011 and 2012 alone, I invested over 60 hours of launch time attempting to land Pelican to Pelican, but to no avail. So my frustrations led me to post on Waypoint, Jumpers, and Reddit with my launch discovery and see if others could take on the challenge. So if I landed this launch, it would have been featured in Physics Remastered's launching montage aerials. Shortly after issuing the challenge, Toolbox was the next one to try to take it on, racking his brains for tens of thousands of attempts throughout the whole year, and released a video on some of his closest ones, as well as his tutorial on how to set it up. By then, the Pelican to Pelican challenge was well known and established within the Trekking community. And along with myself and Product Zero, there were several others that took on this challenge, including Super Cicala, Skulk, Swo, Bojangles, and many others. No doubt, the race was on. Then, in July of 2013, two years after the challenge was beginning, in Termitia Tricosity's debut, Tribute, Super Cicala drops the very first ever completion of Pelican the Pelican, closing the video with it with trickers all in all. At last, Pelican the Pelican had finally been completed, though several others were still left unsatisfied with their own incompletion to land it. Shortly after Cicala's landing, in May of 2014, Finity follows up with the second ever landing Control of Pelican the Pelican. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of collective attempts and only two landings. This was how it was for years after, until very recently, four years later, in August of 2018, where Jankus completed Pelican to Pelican on stream. <gasps> I've done it! I actually did it! I do not believe this! <laughs> I don't No way! Yes! <laughs> shortly after Jan Goose landed Pelican to Pelican, Ponyo himself started attempting, and shortly thereafter, he was able to land Pelican to Pelican himself too. That brings a total of Pelican to Pelican completions up to four. Zakela's in 2013, Finity's in 2014, and Janguses and Ponyos in 2018. So, how do you set up Pelican to Pelican? It's quite easy. To begin, you're gonna to wanna to start up tip of the spear at mission start, and then you're gonna to wanna to enable the tilt and cowbell skulls. The difficulty should be easy, and if you wanna track the time, you should put the timer on. 
So when you start off, you're going to want to kill the Elite for his Concussion Rifle. This will help for getting the Warhog out of the map. And then fight off the remaining enemies and take the Warhog that the Pelican drops off to launch it outside the map. So then, with the Warhog, you want to bring it over here. And you're going to want to set it up to launch the Warhog up on top of the hill. If you need to, you can get checkpoints by exiting and re-entering the Warhog. From there, you're going to want to get up to the Warhog and break the barrier with it. Remember that when you first enter the Warhog, make sure your person is not touching any elastic barrier. And then once you break the barrier, you're going to want to shoot the Warhog out further so then it's not caught in the map whenever you get back into the Warhog. So now when you shoot it all the way up here, at this point, you should be good to get into the Warhog and be able to stay outside the map. So now when you're fully out of the map, drive to what's shown on the screen here. You're going to want to go all the way along the hills here and up to the high ground so you can drop down into the map. This will prevent you from hitting any unneeded triggers or loading guns that will move that Pelican when you don't want it to move. So now you're going to want to move up to this cliffside here. And then note that the Pelican is inside the map. If it's inside the map, you did everything correctly. Now, drop on down to the invisible BSP with your Warhog without fall timering, and then now have player two get in with you. And then you're gonna wanna line yourself up with the Pelican. All right, this is important. And then you wanna drop onto the Pelican. And remember, you can always just get another checkpoint at any time by getting in and out of the Warhog. Now set up the Warhog up on the left jet right here and adjust as much as you wish. This is the point where you're going to want to make little adjustments throughout the launch here to make your trajectory as, as perfect as possible. Now player one should be set up directly at the front of the Warhog as shown. The front tire should be directly off the jet. And now as this is happening player two should head to the trigger that you skipped earlier by getting out of the map. You should be ready right at the trigger, but not crossing the trigger. The trigger is about right there, right at that line. So now once player two is set up, you're gonna want player one to get into the Warhog, then get out to get your checkpoint. And remember, you can have, have infinite checkpoints as long as you get in and get out. Overuse that thing. Now off the checkpoint, have player two go forward in the setup. Now this will launch you towards the Pelican. That is, uh, that is stuck now outside the map. Now keep in mind that this is the same Pelican. They are not two different Pelicans, they just change locations. So realistically, you're launching from one Pelican back to the same Pelican. And that is how you set up Pelican to Pelican. And personally, it's just really amazing just to see all this fold out throughout the years. Just from the birth of the idea to four different people actually able to complete the challenge. If you guys all wanted to do this challenge or give an attempt or two or 2,000, you should definitely try this out. Um, it'd be really awesome to see more people get this done. And if you're interested, you can join in on our Discord server and you can uh, talk about this trick and other tricks with uh, us and other people around the community. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for, uh, thanks for sticking with us for a while. All right? Appreciate that. Y'all have a good one. Waffle out. Yeah, my first commentary in a long time. Jeez Louise. What's going on? Oh yeah, I need to end this. Whoops, I need to end the recording. All right.